Hi, I'm Laura Bryan from Silicon Republic. Today we're going to take a look at the Samsung Galaxy S2. One of the first things I noticed about the Samsung Galaxy S2 when I picked it up was just how light it was. It weighs only about uh, 119 grams. It's incredibly slim at 8.49 millimeters thick. Uh, it's pretty impressive considering the spec of the phone. Um, Both kind of a very bright Super AMOLED Plus display. So it's got a very kind of strong contrast in colors and um, it's just a very, very sharp display. It's kind of known to be one of, I think it's one of probably the best displays I've seen in an Android device. And it also has sort of Gorilla Glass, which is sort of a very strong glass to protect it from damage as well. Um, so the front is covered with the glass and the back sort of textured, as you can see there, to kind of help with grip. The Galaxy S2 runs an Android 2.3 with the latest version of Samsung's overlay on top, which is TouchWiz 4.0. Apart from a general new sort of coat of paint on all the icons and things like that, and it also has a few different gesture controls. On the home screen, if you hold down an app and you move your phone left or right, it's just hard to show. You can place your icon on another home screen as well. So it's quite handy for moving stuff about. There's also a tilting control app, whereas if you tilt the phone kind of towards or away from you, it can zoom in and out quite quickly as well, showing off the processor again. And it's quite similar to the pinch to zoom, only you're sort of moving it back and forth. The Samsung Galaxy S2 runs on a 1.2 GHz dual-core processor, which makes it incredibly fast for gaming, multitasking, and web use. And it's very powerful, as I found even when I had about nine apps open, it still was incredibly responsive um, and very quick. Uh, 3D gaming runs very smoothly on it. This is um, Gameloft's 3D game, uh, Dungeon Hunters. I'll just switch up the volume as well. This is just the opening animation, so I'll just skip past this and show you the game itself. So it's one of the kind of more premium games on the market. Um, it's, I find it on this, the gaming hub, um, which Samsung have on their user interface. Um, So it would load a lot faster than, say, obviously the single core processor phones. Let's get this little bit here. So yeah, it's like, you know, it handles it all very well. And then... So I didn't find any problems with kind of slow down or anything like that on this. I did find that at the back of the phone got a little bit hot with extended use, but in terms of actual performance, it just works quite well. While the Galaxy S2 doesn't have a HDMI cable, it does have a number of wireless solutions for sharing and streaming media content. Uh, Keys 2.0 lets the phone sync with a computer using Wi-Fi for backup, subscribing to content and sharing multimedia. You can enter, it gives you an address for you to enter into your own browser on your computer and that helps you show, sort out and share that information. And it also has All Share, which lets you uh, link to a DLNA compatible TV, audio system or a laptop, again to wirelessly stream media. Uh, the phone can also play back videos in full HD 1080p. Um, so along with sporting its really, really top quality display, um, you know, the full HD video means you can watch really top quality movies. I'll show you some Kung Fu Panda 2 trailer. So 
overall, I think the Samsung Galaxy S2 is a worthy successor to the Galaxy S, um, which is already one of the top Android smartphones in the market. On the outside, it's quite stylish and portable, and it, you know the Super AMOLED screen offers some beautiful visuals. And then on the inside, it's really powerful phone with its dual core processor and it's capable of handling almost all heavy duty activities. If you add on top of the features like its sharp camera and its wireless sharing capability, and this was really one of the top smartphones for the Android platform out today. There you have it, the Samsung Galaxy S2 is available on all Irish mobile networks.